Hello folks, welcome to Quaff TV. I'm Justin and this is Andre. Hello. And today we are featuring Cabernet Sauvignon. Yes, indeed we are. And um, we actually shot this awesome Cab Sav uh, video. Seriously, it was the best one ever. <laughs> a little while ago we had Michael, Fra Michael Fragos from um, Chapel Hill. He sat down and we went through uh, three Cabernets uh, quite similar to these ones. And, um, and it was awesome, the, the knowledge that came out, the depth in which we explored this great variety. I was, was on fire. Justin was on fire. It was really, it was really funny. We both were much handsomer as well. But um, the sound, and, you know. sound didn't work. So <laughs> we had to sort of go back and say, thanks, sorry about that. So we promised ourselves we'd get on and do a, uh, a delayed Cabernet Day Cabernet video. So this is it. Aren't you lucky? No Michael Fragos? No, thanks Michael. It's not going to be quite as good. <laughs> Just pre-warn you on that one. But we're going to make shit up. It's going to be awesome. So, but three Cabernets. Three regions. Yes. We start with a Margaret River, move on to a McLaren Vale and a Coonawarra. And it, look, it's really one of the, I'm like all varieties, but it's really a variety that expresses itself with different regions in Australia. So we found it fascinating to sort of explore probably three, today, in modern era of wineism, probably the three premier regions for Cabernet. Yes. I'd go so far as to say. I'm a fan of ours are but it's definitely been kicking some massive goals. Yeah. Yes. You win? Yes. So well, good. We're I wasn't actually thinking. Same think pace. Just like this. So Margaret River, starting with Margaret River. Yeah, so I was actually listening to you. I was, I was reading this. <laughs> Same fucking shit then, different day, is it? Yeah, thanks. Cape Grace, Cabernet Sauvignon, 2008, Margaret River. Uh, tiny producer, little cellar door, makes some really handy wines. Um, you may notice the uh, great wine adventure little uh, uh, QR code on there, so if you happen to find one of these, um, or if you can just pause the screen there and give that a little scan with your iPhone, you can check in with it. Um, so yes, 2008, Cape Grace, Margaret River. Let's give it a crack. Now I know Margaret River um, as sort of being described as pure Cabernet, as in really expresses the variety, you know, so that sort of pure black currant and chop mint. You know what's really interesting? I'm getting a fair bit of kind of peppery notes on this, which I don't normally get out of my river. Yeah, heaps. Yeah, heaps. Is it? Pepper or pepper leaf? Hold on, Andre. <laughs> I don't think I smell the pepper leaf. Well, you know, you know how you get tobacco leaf is a really common yeah, 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 Cabernet yeah. quality. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've smelled a tobacco leaf. You had a pepper tree in your backyard. Was that you a pepper tree though? We're going a bit off topic. But yeah, just, just hold on a second. I'll we'll get back to you. <laughs> Mm. See that to me is a perfectly structured one. Like you know, it's, it sits there. It's got great kind of tannin structures, and it's just well made. Like well, it's just a perfect little cabinet. It's pretty, pretty charry, isn't it? Like I, I get like to me, it makes me want to eat a steak. And I like my steaks when you just go and crisp the outsides and the insides nice and rare. That's what it sort of says to me. Um, the charriness and the sort of black spices, and that's where you're totally getting the pepper for me too. Yeah. Um, good length, good wine. It's it's a really bit of that cigar good. box going on in there. It's got the tannins are you know sort of drying, but not they're not uncomfortable or rough or anything. Is that what you meant by good structure? Yeah, something like that. Oh, sorry, I pulled mine out. I'm moving from McLaren Vale. McLaren Vale, Chapel Hill, 2008, Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, this, this is one of the ones that Michael Fragos was actually going to take us through, or...? Yes, yeah, so this is the 08, um, just normal state range Cab Sav. I think it smashed like a 95 points from Halliday. Um, and 08 was, excuse the expression, fucking hot um, in McLaren Vale. And so, you know, they all talk about this cut-off point of either picking before the heat wave or after the heat wave, because no one admits picking after the heat wave. But, um, yeah, so to pull out an 08 Cabernet and get 95 points um, yeah. from the Carnival is, is, is quite an achievement. He's a bit of a Cabernet man, Michael Fragos, since he's not here to tell you that himself. Hmm. Um, you know, and one of the people that McLaren Vale, it's important to say, so Margaret River really built its reputation on Cabernet and Chardonnay, so they have been Cabernet all the way, and they are 100% a Cabernet red region. McLaren Vale is Grenache and Shiraz, right? Until about sort of the last 10 years. You just had brands like um, these guys and Wira Wira and, um, and Scarpa Tony and a few others just winning 
a few Jimmy Watsons and other like winning best in shows at Sydney wine shows and stuff like that with Cabernet. So all of a sudden people start taking notice of um, McLaren by Cabernet. And you can and you can understand why hunters or you know consumers have taken on McLaren by Cabernet because it's just it's so friendly, it's so round and lovely and delicious. And it's like dark chocolate. Yeah, dark it smells like chocolate. really good lint dark chocolate and dark berry fruits, dark chocolate and just yumminess. It's like it's got that kind of sweet oak kind of thing going mm. on. It's dark, it's beautiful, really easy to drink. Yeah, the tannins are much softer. Yeah, it's um, much more rounded. And I dare say you'd get um, yeah, I mean, still not that nice sort of tannin that says oh, I need some food for this. You know, yeah. it leaves you a bit drying when you for me, but um, yeah. but soft as a cabernet and um, yeah, sweet fruit isn't it? Yeah. Delicious. How Chocolate, much is that? caramel. It's got interesting stuff in it's it. It's like 25 bucks or something. Yeah, or well, I, I think it's over 30 or something. So yeah. massive. But I, know, I think this is about the same. It's a pretty yeah. good, yeah, pretty good value. Yeah, pretty good. Outstanding wine surprise. And <laughs> next, my friends, this Maybe is... Moving to a slightly different price bracket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just to be fair, this is about double or triple. <coughs> um, Kunawara. Mm. It's no secret that Kunawara is probably the um, Cabernet region in the country. At least it's certainly known as that. Um, and you've got people like Wins to thank for, for that back in the 80s. And this is absolutely, this is oh, a beautiful label. Well. This is up there as good as it gets, isn't yeah. it, for Kunawara. Do you remember me buying you a present a couple of years ago? Go on. It's gone. Yeah, but it was that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wasn't well, expecting was exactly... you to share it. <laughs> it was about oh, sorry. Years. In that case, it's not gone. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is exactly the vintage, I believe. Was it? That you got me. I thought it was much longer ago. I thought it was a 2004. No, right. Anyway, we'll get back to you people. 2006, the patron from Brands Lara, one of the great producers, it has to be said, in Coonawarra, and the patron is their Ducks Nuts um, wine. And I dare say they'd be pretty proud of the 06, and you can tell it's taller than the others, which means it's more expensive. I think it's about 75 bucks. Um, but here she is. Thankfully, in a screw cap, it's nice to see not many people make us hunt for the corkscrew anymore. And it's absolutely delicious. You know, you don't, it's one of those ones that you, you'll keep smelling because it's so complex, there's so much going on. It's, um, and it's still tight. It's still tight and needs to open out. This has only been open for, dare I say it, like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's teasing you with um, sort of nice red fruits. Yeah. Some Almost a juviness about the fruit that's tempting you. Yeah, yeah, mm. but it's kind of held together really tightly and it's got that kind of um, French oak kind of thing going on. It you know, needs to be in my mouth. I'm smelling it, some sort of minerality as well. Um, I don't know how old the vines are, but um, you know, Kunawara Cabernet, people talk about famous for being having this menthol, this eucalypt quality. Um, you know, whereas chop mint, where you're like an after dinner mint, is with the mintiness. Cabernet's minty, right? Um, Margaret River expresses it more like an after dinner mint. Um, McLaren Vale, I dare say, in, in a similar way when it's yeah. in there. But this really heads into that sort of gum leaf territory, mm. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That eucalypt territory. That's made, made it so famous. This is crying out for about 10 years in the cellar and some food at that 10 year point. So right now, <laughs> it's really, really tight. Yeah, you'd want to, oh, there's massive tobacco there. In there, um, you'd want to have opened this up for three or four hours, let yeah. it breathe, um, which we <clears throat> haven't done clearly. But it's so much promise. I mean, no. um, what was 2006 like as a vintage in Kenawara? Way to put me on the spot. I reckon it was good. Let's go with that. It was really good, <laughs> <laughs> pretty bad at stuff like that. <laughs> Anyone got some advice? I can tell you what um, Barossa and McLaren are about. Lee, can you look up 2006? <laughs> Kunawara is a bit... is not consistent with most of South Australia because it's much colder than nearly anywhere else in South Australia. And it gets frost and stuff. So when we get a really hot vintage, Kunawara sometimes is a bit relieved because it's a bit dry and they get less frost and there's not, not as much damage. And they get more sun and warmth. Like 2008. Which was a cracking year in Kunawara. There you go, yes. So, um, am, I I make, am I making up for my lack of knowledge of 06? <laughs> no, I made up for my lack of knowledge. Good. We're still going. Someone's going to see how they get. Someone in Kunawara, a winemaker's going to be like, are you fucking joking? Yeah. yeah. I had half my crop last <laughs> year. No, we're, we're not sure. But this has got plenty of, um, plenty of fruit and flavour and richness about it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it, it doesn't is. taste like a cool 
soft gear. I mean, really? it's cool. It's really well structured. So it could be, but who knows? We don't know. That's why we're asking Lee at the top. But <laughs> as far as quality wine, this is absolutely stunning. It's got everything so you want in a Cabernet, and especially one that you're going to put down for a while. It's got the structure like you wouldn't believe, and complexity plus. It's an amazing one. Yeah, and lots of things in balance yeah. I'm getting as well. Yeah, so yeah. it's all still it's, tight, yeah, exactly. but nothing's exactly. jumping out and going, Hi, I'm fruit! Yeah, yeah. Or hi, I'm yeah. oak. You know, it's... It's, it's, and I, I dare say that as it all opens up, that balance will be retained and we'll just go, wow, what a great, classy wine. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Brand well, there Zero. is Margaret River, McLaren Val, Coonawarra, Cabernet Sauvignon. This is a very personal thing. What's your favourite, Andre? Which regions? I'm not talking particular wines. Which regions would you drink most often and enjoy most often? I think probably would have to say Margaret River. Really? Yeah. I thought you were going to say McLaren Val. No, no, I'd have to probably say Margaret River. Yeah. But I'm open to being um, swayed otherwise, and we will be in Kunawara for a massive. I really set you up to do weekend. a really good, <laughs> a and massive got, weekend yeah, yeah. of tasting. Right. So Kunawara, the gauntlet is thrown. Convert me. I'm converted. I got you. Feel open I'll your see best. Next week. <laughs> I'm out. What would you like? I'll go to the factory. Eric, the Cape Grace. Until then, uh, Michael Francis, we so apologise for. Um, any stuff up the sound on yours, and you would have made this infinitely better and been able to answer our 06 question, no doubt. But, say that Cheers. Cheers. 2006, Lee? <laughs> <laughs> Cracking vintage. Yes, we knew it. <laughs> so, we knew it.